The Michigan Soybean Promotion Committee is proud to offer the following soybean production video featuring Mike Staten of Michigan State University Extension and George Zmitko of Zmitko Farms. I'm Mike Staten. I'm a soybean educator with Michigan State University Extension. The reason we're here today is uh, to address one of the most important issues facing the soybean industry, herbicide resistant weeds. Three main culprits that we think of are Palmer amaranth, water hemp, and mare's tail. The two that are spreading the most right now across the state are probably mare's tail and water hemp. And uh, one of the main culprits for cause of the spread is our combines. So we want to get into this in detail a little bit, talk about how we can prevent the spread of these weed seeds this fall um, by cleaning out our combines. With us today, we've got uh, George Schmitko. We're at George Schmitko's farm, and George has a lot of experience doing this because he is a seed producer. Some of the things we're going to be talking about, and then I'll turn it over to George, but we're going to be talking about really kind of an in-field clean-out, uh, something that can be done in less than a half hour. So um, we're going to start from front to back, and George will talk in more detail about these and demonstrate that. Usually all the combines have this little thing here. And you get all this garbage and stuff that sticks in the back, which could be weed seed or whatever. And then we take the leaf blower and we just blow in here and blow in there and blow it up towards the stone trap. And now we're going to empty the stone trap. And always make sure you put your cylinder safety stop down. And then empty your stone trap. Shake it. Make sure you shut it. I'm going to take off the covers now to get to the rotor to clean the rotor out. And you want to make sure you get up here with your leaf blower and blow on top of this rotor cage. Get all the garbage out of here that gets stuck in here like this. And, and then right there is the chopper pan or the chopper pan where the chopper is. You want to make sure you blow that out. And then you want to make sure you blow the pan underneath the combine, the clean grain pan. Get that all blowed out and cleaned out. And sometimes you might have to do it twice. You get the worst of it. Then you can go and start the combine up, run it out, and then finish it up this, for the second time to make sure you get everything. You take the doors off on the other side and let them blow that side of the rotor out too. Underneath these augers, you get all this stuff that's stuck under there. And then you just put your wood chips across here, open the door on the other side, do the same thing, get them up front, and then it'll just. And when you're up there blowing off the top of the rotor cage and the bottom of your pan, you also want to blow back into that chopper where you st see stuff hanging down. You can blow that all right out and fall on the sieve. So once you start up the machine, it'll all. Go out the back. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Go up in the in the grain tank with your leaf blower and blow down any where any weed seed has got stuck. Get everything to the bottom. Then take the leaf blower and you can blow underneath the augers. Blow everything over to your grain sump. And then once you get that, well, you can open your door first where you go up there. And then blow everything up to the grain sump and then blow that out and should be good. Get in here, you blew, the, you blew the chopper pan out from the front and now you're gonna blow it out from the back and then you just make sure you get the concaves blowed out good and underneath the rotor, I mean underneath the chopper pan, get that blowed out good and then, uh, every, then you can start the machine up and that, then you should be able to blow everything out and make sure you blow off your on the back axle here everything where all the weed seeds will set up underneath here a little bit and here and a little bit on here on the spreaders and up on top you'll have some stuff up here like this you want to blow off uh, 
I think in all combines, the clean grain elevators are easy to open. You could plan that the same way if you had a bad field with weeds, if you knew how long roughly it was going to take you. You wouldn't want to start that, and then you could blow it out in the morning, and then you wouldn't be down any Before downtime. you could run. Oh, yes. Yeah.